Hey everybody, it's Derek with Millwright CNC. I'm excited to be here with you today telling you about the Power Route Plus XL. Now this machine is a new version of the original Power Route XL. We've incorporated a lot of cool changes based on years of customer feedback that I think you're gonna like. So some of the big changes that are making this machine better than ever before are the larger linear profile rails. Before we had a 16 millimeter supported rail now we've got a 20 millimeter steel rail bolted directly to the super thick extrusion. From there we've got improved ball screw supports to reduce some of that wiggle that you may have experienced before. As you're changing directions, it's super stout. You can accelerate quickly with these improved ball screw supports with angular contact bearings. One of the big improvements that you all have been asking for is increased Z height. You have 6.25 inches of Z-stroke on this machine and five and a half inches of gantry clearance. So that's five and a half from here to the bottom of the bed. Because you have more Z-stroke, you can actually put a taller part that's maybe a few inches wide right up underneath the router and you'd be able to cut a nice tall part, even something held in a vise. That's gonna be helpful to some of you guys out there. Another big thing we've made with our improved control box is there is an optional fourth axis. So if you need to turn cylindrical parts with a nice rigid machine with a taller Z height, you can get it with a Power Route Plus. Now, as always, we have the standard T-plate bed on this machine, but we have some improvements underneath this that you can't see right now. We have added mid-span supports to make it more rigid, and instead of the brackets that we used to use, we're now bending up angle that ties in at every point underneath so you're gonna have a more rigid machine. There's going to be much less vibration as you're making a heavy cut and taking full advantage of the two and a quarter horsepower router. There's a 2.25 horsepower DeWalt router standard with this machine. We're holding that in a very stout router mount made from a big block of aluminum that we cut precision on one of the machines behind me. Now, if you wanted to add your own spindle, you would be able to do that with our improved control box. It puts out a zero to five volt pulse width modulated signal. And as long as your VFD accepts that signal for speed control, you could add whatever spindle you'd like here. Now, if you'd like to get it without the router, just get in touch with us and we could reduce the cost of this and deliver it without that router. You may be aware that we also have another four by four machine called the Mega B XXL. So if you're wondering why we would have two models, with the same cutting dimensions. I'm gonna explain that to you. First and foremost, this machine is intended for a different application and a different purpose than the Mega B XXL. This machine is often gonna be found in industrial shops, maybe like this one here, that need to relieve some of that high cost spindle time from their more expensive machines. Beyond that, you'll find this in research labs, small businesses needing to make parts very accurately and beyond that five thou that you might see on the Mega B XXL. With this machine and careful setup, you could see two or three thou parts and it would be totally reasonable to use this machine to make bearing interference parts or anything that you might have to press into another. That's well within the capability of this machine. Now, some of the other differences that you'll see is this machine is ball screw driven while the Mega B XXL is a rack and pinion drive. That's part of the reason for the difference in that accuracy. Beyond that, it's just the rigidity of this machine. It's very stout, made from 5 8 aluminum in most places that are precision cut on our industrial milling machines. Again, you have the large linear bearings that are frankly oversized for this application, but we wanted to give you the most to make sure we were delivering a machine that could really serve your needs for that light industrial or heavy use commercial customer. Now, beyond that, you're gonna have the standard T-plate on this, whereas with the XXL, you would provide your own bed surface. With the T-plate, you could clamp anything anywhere on the bed, including putting a series of vices. It would be totally reasonable to have 12 vices set up on this machine, making 12 parts at the same time, or one entire four by four sheet of material. Beyond that, with a paneling or tiling concept, you could take a full sheet of plywood, MDF, aluminum, plastic, 
what have you. You could hang it off the back of the machine, then index it forward and cut the rest of it. We've even used this machine to run production in our shop. And if you could pan around, you would see that we have a full shop of industrial equipment. But this machine is capable of making parts that our customers are going to use in the field with their machines. 